Through a lot of trial and error, I've found my favorite way to build out Adobe Character Animator puppets using the new body tracking feature currently in open beta. In this video, I'm going to show you my preferred layering method for a three angle walking puppet using body tracking and why this method is my favorite out of all the methods I've tried. And trust me, there's been a lot. Then I'll show you the most hassle free way to go about recording your content using this new feature as you see here. So to start off, layering your files correctly is the single most important thing you can do to assure a successful build. So to make everyone's life easier, I've created free templates available for download. Just use the link found in the description below. I have both traditional and body tracking options for Illustrator and Photoshop both. For this one, we're gonna need either Illustrator body tracking or Photoshop body tracking. Let's select the Photoshop file. Now it should be said that both of these are laid out the exact same way, so it doesn't matter which one we go over for the video. There's gonna be a few changes in this compared to the traditional file, which is this one over here. On the body tracking file, you'll notice that head and body are actually tagged as independent with a plus. That's absolutely necessary for this. There's some other differences, but I'm not gonna go into them. You can feel free to look through this file as you wish. So after you've sectioned your puppet out in the corresponding folders, you can feel free to delete any of the ones you didn't use. After that, we're gonna come over to Character Animator. Currently, this feature is only in the open beta, but I suspect it'll be pushed to the full version before too long. So after you've got your puppet imported into Adobe Character Animator, you're gonna to wanna to hold down control and select all of your head and body folders located in frontal, left quarter, and right quarter. You're gonna change the attach style to these to free. After you do that, I want you to open up all of your body folders and select all of your arms and legs by holding down control. Again, only in the frontal, left quarter, and right quarter folders. You're gonna change all of your legs and arms to attach style hinge. After you finish that, go ahead and locate your torso layers and tag your shoulders and your hips on all three. After you've gotten this far, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and build the rest of your puppet out just like you would a traditional puppet. If you're not sure how to do this, you can click on the information icon located on your screen now. So I'm sure you recall that intro from earlier? Yeah, that one. Our next step is actually to record that video in sections. We don't wanna to try to record everything all at once because it's gonna be a huge mess. So in order to animate this video, we are gonna lay it out section by section. So before we begin, you can see that I already have the lip sync imported down below. Now to do this, I did record it in Adobe Audition so I could clean up the sound for the animation. I'll have a tutorial on how to do this in the future. After I've recorded my audio take, I selected the audio in the timeline and went to Timeline, Compute Lip Sync from Scene Audio. And that generated a lip sync for every single mouth I have. So the next step is to make sure that we turn off all parameters that we don't want recorded. And you're gonna do that by holding down the control button and clicking one of the red dots in your puppet track behaviors. This is gonna turn all of them off. And to start off, we're gonna record our triggers and that's it. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna activate one of our body angles and we're gonna activate our hands. So if you have any hand angles that you want or any body angles that you want, make sure they're currently turned on. We're just gonna record one frame real quick. And you can do this by pressing Control-1 or coming up to your timeline and say record a one frame take. What that's gonna do is all those armed parameters are now active and we can cut into these when we need to. So if we wanna come into our right hand and change them, we can hold down the Alt button and cut right here out, say it's an animation we need, and we can select any hand we want. We can do the same thing for our right quarter. We can come in here and we can cut anywhere we need to and we can select left quarter or frontal. Now that we have these parameters recorded, we can go ahead and click the little nose guy here on everything but the puppet, and we can turn that off. The next thing you're gonna wanna turn on is any of the face, heads, physics, bodies, or limb IK features. So we're gonna do that. Note that your trigger's behavior does need to be on for this, but we won't be using it because of what we just did. So we're gonna step back and fast forward this recording part, mostly because I think it's gonna look funny. 
So before you start, you need to make sure you click set reset pose right here. And that's going to give you five seconds to get into position. Let's start. So the next step is to go into character animator and start editing the dragger handles that we put in just a little bit ago. And don't forget to use those shy guys to turn off everything except what you're working on. That'll help make sure that you don't have any accidental edits. So in the end, your parameters panel will look like this, triggers armed, and then I have three different eye gazes armed for keyboard input recording. Now you're gonna go through and record those parameters. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And of course you can go come in and edit your takes once they're placed for pinpoint accuracy. Now we're gonna move on to the very final phase, which is recording your walk behaviors. Now the benefit of this rig, I saved the best for the last. The benefit of this rig is we can actually walk forward and backwards with our rig. But we do need to turn on the torso we need. So we'll have the proper angle we want active and then we'll click record and it's as easy as having them walk on screen. Through a lot of trial and error, I found my favorite way to build out Adobe character animator puppets using the new body. All right, and we have our finalized product that looks exactly like the one you saw at the start of this video. So again, guys, be sure to record one section at a time because it really lets you dial in each and every issue you find as you come across it. And if you have any questions or run into any problems while building, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer each and every one of them. I hope you guys found this useful. And again, thanks for letting CH Puppets help bring your content to life.